Hey, what's up you guys? Kuraf Farms here. Welcome back to Forest River. As you can see, we are here with the sprayer. And uh, we are working on killing some weeds in our oats fields. I did get our first oats field done already. And uh, now we're just working on the second one here. And, uh, so we are in April. I did finish all of the, um, planting and rolling, uh, from March. And then, uh, everything is set up and ready to go. All that we gotta do is, uh, um, just get the work done, so... We'll do some spraying today, and then uh, we'll seed some soybeans, and then we'll uh, probably work on planting some corn, and uh, we'll have everything done, so we're one step closer to uh, harvest, things like that, so... And uh, as you can see, our water truck is sitting over there in the distance. Just uh, waiting for when we need more chemical. I think we'll be alright for a little bit. Off we go. Oh, and we're skipping. That's okay. We'll go back and get that once we're done. So I'm not sure when exactly these videos are going to come out, but uh, they will be at some point or another. And we'll see. Um, as I'm recording this here, it's Sunday morning. Um, we're going to go out and attempt to combine today around noon. And see if it's uh, <clears throat> dry enough now. But uh, it sounds like, let's take a look here. Sounds like we're going to get some more rain again in the next few days. So, if we do, then uh, we'll be back working in the shop again. Yeah, it's looking like Tuesday and uh, Wednesday we might get some rain. So, um... Yeah, so we'll be working in the shop again, and uh, I got a sunflower header in the shop right now that uh, I'm going to tighten all the chains and lube all the chains up, grease the header. Um, I've got to check knives on it, see if those need replacing. So... We'll see, maybe uh, 
Maybe get some video while we do that. My list of projects seems to never uh, end. It's crazy. We got a uh, new auger tractor. We got a 4430. And uh, none of the rear lights work on it. And uh, needs a interior kit. Um, it needed an oil... And fuel filter change, air filter. We had a hose leaking on the loader. So I've been working on that. Did a little bit of work to that. And then uh, also got a lot of other projects, especially once we are finished combining. Just keeps growing. The fun never ends, it seems. I'm thinking what I should have done here in this situation for spraying is I should have uh, went another month and then uh, we could have used the crop destruction and made actual lines in our crop like we would in real life that's okay we'll get her sprayed anyways and roll with it We're going to run over here to where the field bumped out just a little bit. And uh, pick up the little bit that we missed because we don't want it to uh, jam pack full of weeds along this edge here. Okay, so we are done with, let's see, this is 27, and I got 26 marked, okay, so we'll head on down to field 22. So far through all of 22, this sprayer right here is about my favorite uh, pull-behind sprayer. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but we do have the planter sitting down there in the field, so... It's ready to go. We just got to get some spraying finished and then we can uh, 
get cracking on putting more seed in the ground. We'll probably run the drill first and uh, get that finished. We'll see. Or Jim might come out and run that. Uh, and then we'll run the planter. Sunflowers look pretty good though. Nice and straight rows. Hopefully we'll get uh, a good amount of them. Our pickup's still sitting down here too. Forgot to bring that home. Neighbor's got some oats over here. Just gotta make sure that we don't uh, overlap onto him and end up killing his oats. These jagged edges of this field are crazy. We should come in with either some grass or a plow even and clean up some of the edges in our fields. Kind of make them a little smoother, especially for course play. But we'll worry about that another, another time. That could be a fall project after harvest or in the spring next year before we start seeding. And off we go. I think I wish we were able to get this field and uh, 23 done yet. We should have enough chemical for both. There's definitely some weeds in here though. Just a few of them. Oh, and there goes auto save. Yeah, there's quite a few weeds in this field. Let's take a look here. So 39 is solid weeds, but I think, yeah, we haven't seeded that, I don't think. Yeah, we haven't seeded 39 yet. Yeah, there's a fair amount of weeds in these sunflower fields here. If 
Definitely got to get them knocked out. We do not want these. So if anybody knows of a mod that, aside from crop destruction, where if you drive over crops, it'll uh, kill them off, let me know in the comments. Because um, I would like to add something in for when we're spraying. You know, we can, we leave lines in the field, just like you would in real life. Or if crop destruction does it, and we just gotta go an extra month before we spray. I'll do I'll do that. Not entirely too sure. And I think that we're gonna get it all in the next pass here. We'll uh, look and see. Oh yeah, we're getting her all sweet. Just a little bit here yet. <laughs> All right, well, we should be good. Let's get it folded up. We'll mark 22 is done. And then we'll go jump across the road to 23 there. And I did, uh, let me find it here. So I did get this set up. So we have 106 acres of sunflowers and 62 acres of soybean, or oats, excuse me. So then once we get soybeans done, we'll put that as well as corn. So not doing the size of every single individual field, but we're just putting down what we have for each crop. And then later on we'll figure out our uh, rotation that'll be this fall's project after harvest we'll make a crop plan for uh, next year
There we go. Boom, sit at like the perfect height for these sunflowers. Just above it. That's the only downside to this sprayer is there's no no movement to it. Um, I don't think. Oh yeah, you can move the booms, okay. That's just set up on a different control, that's why. I think then what we're gonna do is once we finish this field, we gotta go back over more towards the co-op. So on our way there, we'll probably stop at the truck and we'll uh, load the rest of the sprayer. Probably don't need a front wheel assist tractor on the sprayer, but it's what we got. Maybe uh, next year we'll be able to upgrade a bit and go to a self propelled. We just gotta go down and back and we're done. So what's everybody thinking of this series so far? Is everybody liking it? Getting sick of it? You wanna see more of the planting and spraying? You wanna see less? Should we get moved up to haying? What do you guys wanna see on this uh, series here. Oh. Bumping my mouse here. Perfect. So yeah, field 39 here we have not seeded. And I believe 39, yeah, 39 is going to be corn. So we'll get to that field here. I think that'll actually be our last corn field. Then I think what we're going to do is chop that whole field. Alright, 
let's get folded up. 23 is done. Let's head down and let's top this sprayer off. See, they haven't gotten to this field here yet. definitely a big field maybe one day maybe one day let's take a look at it here so that is field where are we at here field 20 yeah that's that's a big guy There's a lot of them big fields around here slowly we'll get into a lot of them. And there we are. We are loaded up. Uh oh. There we go. All right. Well, folks, that's going to do it for today. I'm going to go ahead and get uh, our last two sunflower fields finished. And then... Uh, we might jump into some corn planting and we might have Jim go out and uh, get our soybeans seeded for us. So, thanks everybody for tuning in today. Hope you all enjoyed it and uh, we'll catch you all in the next one.